but we have a new ankle bracelet on her. We know exactly where she is at all times. For some reason, it came up the other night. She was with Justin Trudeau, which I, doesn't make any sense. He's single me. now. Oh, he is? Yes. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. His wife was coming on to be like gangbusters <laughs> when I was president, I have to tell you. Well, you know, we spoke about Ivanka. We spoke about Melania. Mm. Your son, Baron, your Baron. youngest. He's he, like seven feet tall. He just turned 18. Yes, he just turned 18. I'm so proud. You are not one to bite your tongue. No. The public is divided. Some people think that he should be off limits, mm -hmm. and others think now that he's an adult, you should be able to publicly discuss and share opinions on Baron Trump. I wanted to get it directly from you. What do you say about that? Well, I noticed even on the left, I was on I was on X, and some of the people on the left said he's fair game, and some of the big people who are the lefties, they said, no, no, don't do that. And I feel that's the one time they've been right about don't, don't go after Barron. He's a great kid, he's a fantastic kid. I think you have to leave him alone. Let him make a let him make have his successes and maybe a mistake, and then then you can do it. But you know he's uh, he's not a softy. He's not a softy. He can take it if anybody wants to do it. Oh, um, he's very tall. He's very athletic. Um, I don't want him playing basketball or anything like that. But he's very athletic, and I think he's going to go very far. And maybe he'll play golf. Maybe. And then you can criticize his golf game. But don't criticize him, because he's a nice kid. He's a nice kid. And his mother is, well, I hope I get to see her again soon. One of the most impactful things that you did during your time in the White House mm. was... So many things, so many things. Overturning Roe v. Wade. Yes, I'm so proud of that. I got Amy Coney Barrett, I got Gorsuch, and I got uh, the fraternity guy. <laughs> what is it? Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh. I heard he did cake stands. He used to do cake stands, and I thought that was great, because he wasn't first in his class. He wasn't the smartest guy, but that helped tip it. And now all these women, they've got to have the babies. So I don't know if you're aware, but I am a homosexual. Oh, no. No, that can't be right. Do you... I can't be... By the way, I love the gays. I love the gays. Do, do, do you assure me that you will not try to overturn same-sex marriage? Or is that something that you want to happen? Oh, we want that to happen. We want that to happen. We'd love for you to be straight. We'd love for you to come over to the other side and be on our team. We think that would be fantastic. You guys are, the gay guys are so much better dressers. They're so much better conversationalists with the women. I think a lot of gay guys could be married to straight women and they'd be very happy. They'd be well, very happy. a lot happy. of them are. Yes, and that's true. I, I, and a lot of them are friends I, of yours. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I could name a few people, but I don't want to get in trouble, but we know who you are. Yes. So looking back now, you know, mm -hmm. we talked about the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Is there one thing that you would say is your biggest regret during your time in the White House? I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Uh, I've never asked for forgive forgiveness. That's why God loves me, by the way. I never, I never bother him. A lot of people are like, please God, please God. But I don't do that. I don't bother with it because he's a very busy guy. But I'd say my biggest regret, well, my biggest regret was I didn't give a big enough tax cut to the billionaires mm. and millionaires. I made it too small, too small. But it's still in effect. You notice that Biden, he didn't undo it. He didn't undo it, so uh, I think it was a good one. I think that was a good one. You know, a lot of, even though you are leading in the polls. Leading, is it incredible? It's, it's incredible. incredible. I tried to overthrow the country, and I'm leading in the polls. That means people don't like this country, and they don't like how it is. So I think we should go back to before yeah. when there was a king. When there was a king, and I think that's what people want. I think they want a monarchy or an authoritarian or a dictator. And you know, I've said, I've said openly, I'll be a dictator for a day. I'll be a dictator for a day, the first day, and I'll probably stay with it. But you know. So you're leading in the polls, and some people are worried, though, that if you lose, mm -hmm. we might have a repeat of January sixth. Can you assure the public that? you will abide by the results of the election, whatever they may be? Absolutely not. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath. I mean, I will send my people down and they would take that White House down brick by brick. If I lose this time, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. And uh, It's going to be a rigged election. Oh, it, it already is. It's already Only if you lose. Only if I lose. If I lose, it's rigged. If I win, it's the greatest thing this country's ever seen. 
And that's what I that's what I love about this country. When you win, you win. But when you lose, you can you know send people, send fake electors, and they can kind of change it for you. What would you say is your biggest strength? Mm, God, there's so many. There's so many. I'm handsome. I'm smart. Uh, great golfer. Wonderful husband. Tremendous lover. Don't believe Stormy Daniels. Don't believe her. You know what I mean? Uh, I would say all of those, you know, I, I went to the University of Pennsylvania first in my class. I wrote um, million selling books, million selling books. So I'm an author too. I was in Home Alone too, which made $2 billion. And I think if I hadn't been in that scene, it really would have fallen apart because I gave McCulloch Culkin the direction where to, which because it was going this way. And I got him to go that way, like I've done with this country. This country was going this way, and now I have the country going that way, which I think is wonderful. What is the first thing you plan to do? Well, I think you might have said that. You're going to be a dictator for a day. Well, specifically, I'm going to arrest everyone I don't like. Oh. Yeah, I'm going when, to arrest... If you're, if you're re-elected, you're going to arrest everyone you don't like. Right, I'm going to Fanny Willis, Peekaboo James. Hillary uh, Clinton, you have oh, to absolutely. arrest her. She's first. Oh, She's right. She's first. Uh, yeah, all those people who say nasty things about me and all the people tried to put me in court. Anybody on the, uh, the uh, January 6th hearings, uh, Jeremy Raskin, you know, and then we're going to elevate all the other people to higher orders. Now... All these years later, immigration, specifically mm. people entering this country illegally, is still a really big issue. big issue. Big issue. Do you have a plan that you will implement to help with that issue? Well, it's the original plan. It's the wall. It's the well, wall. Why weren't you able to build the wall the first time? Well, I had to give you people a tax cut. I mean, I can't, you know mm. what I mean? We were very, very busy. We were very, very busy with the tax cuts. Uh, but we but we were working on it. We built 500, there's 2,000 miles in this country. You probably don't know that because you're not geographical. But uh, we have a 2,000 mile border, but we got 500 miles done. But as soon as I, 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 the rigged election, as soon as I didn't go back to the White House, Joe Biden took all of that down. And they had big signs in Espanol saying, please come in and uh, steal stuff. And so a lot of the people are coming in like Swiss cheese or fondue and they're coming in and they're uh, just moving here and robbing stores. I'm sure you've seen the Apple stores being robbed. They took a ship and ran it into a bridge. I mean, these people are just out of control. They're absolutely out of control. I mean, New York, probably as we're speaking right now, 10 people are getting stabbed. For many people, who you choose as a vice presidential candidate is very important. Mm -hmm. Do you have anyone in mind? This question has come up many, many times. Even this morning, I was giving a press conference, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't really, I don't need a vice president, right? I don't need you do person. in case something happens to you. Nothing's going to happen. If it hasn't happened yet. It's you're, not happen. you're, I think, eight. How old are you now? You're pretty. You're I'm up not there that in age. Old. I'm probably chronologically, I'm probably forty six. I'm mm. absolutely. But I think you're old. close to eighty. Well, that that that's Biden. I'm seventy five. No, Biden's older than eighty. You're around eighty. Well, you know what? I think Biden's too old to be president. <laughs> Biden's too old to be president. But um, what about the, Nikki Haley? Would you consider her? Oh, that backstabbing. That that backstab. No, not. No? By the way, her name's not even Nikki. It's like Gupta or something like that. It's Indian. And that's I'm not just saying that. I'm just saying she changed her name. What about sound. Ron DeSantis as no, a running mate? Are you kidding no. me? That guy putting fingers? No, that's not going to happen. Here's what I'm thinking. Christy Lake. Christy oh, Lake. God. Or Carrie oh. Lake. Pardon Carrie, Carrie Lake. Lake. Yes. Carrie Lake. I'm From Arizona. Yeah, I was going to say Christy Nome or Carrie Lake. Because Christy Nome, she's hot. She's really hot. But, but she doesn't have, she, like you, she had zero political experience. Exactly, exactly. Carrie Lake is wonderful in that respect because she looks like a pixie. She looks like a pixie with that little tomboy haircut. But she would be great because she's mean. She's a dragon lady. She I think she'd be incredible. Mean. And I think her not knowing anything about anything is a benefit. The election's coming up soon. Are you 
skipped out on all of the Republican debates. Mm -hmm. Will you be debating Joe Biden? Oh, I want to debate Joe Biden right now. The first thing I want to do is get him to take the cognitive test, the <laughs> cognitive test, because I took the cognitive and I did very well. I'm very strong in the cognitive and I can do it again. Camera, man, woman, TV. I mean, I can remember that from four years ago. And I know the difference between a platypus and a rhino and a dinosaur. That's very, you know what I mean? People say, oh, it's so easy. It's, it's not easy. When you're taking the test, it's very difficult. Wow. Um, well, let me ask you one final question. Final question. Final question. What final jeopardy. Final jeopardy. What do you want it to be? Let's go out with a, a zinger, yeah, like a big one. What's the big what's one? What's the good question um, to end things? Is there anything with? left? Um, I don't know. I, uh, I skipped some. Yeah, for example, the trip to Babylonia Harbor. How can we do amazing? Um, oh, our, our, um, okay. All right, okay. last question. Yeah, go on. Many Americans complain that even with health insurance, mm -hmm. prescription medication mm. is very expensive. Right, it is. It's a two-part question. Okay. So, so the first one, do you have a plan to help subsidize the cost of prescription medication? Well, first off, we're going to get rid of Obamacare. It's terrible, okay, because it's giving away a lot of money to people who are very wealthy. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Trump care. We're going to have Trump care. And it's going to be day one. Uh, I was going to do it the last time, but I was very busy giving tax cuts. But it'll be day one. It'll be Trump Care. And I already have the slogan for it. Trump Care. We'll tell you when you're sick. Right? That way, you know, like, we'll let you know when you're sick. And then so you can free, go. Uh, free doctor visits? Uh, no, there'll be a copay. Okay. Free medicine. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. These people have to make money. They've given me a lot of money, so I have to make sure they get money. So what will set Trump Care apart from Obamacare? The name. The oh. name. Trump Care. All right, so the, the second part of my last we'll question. We'll probably have hats, too, that say Trump Care. Very popular. The, the second part of my last question. Why have you not started using Ozempic yet? Well, um, we've been considering it, and I think I will. I think I will, but I don't, I'm not a cheater. Mm. I'm not a cheater. You Oprah's know, taking Ozempic well, or something else. She didn't really specify. Cheater. What's the other one? Uh, Meg, Meg, Megawi? I don't know. Megawi, yeah. Semagla semaglutide. Semaglutide. Ooh, I like that name. But I want to do this myself. I want to lose weight myself. But can, do I need to lose weight? I mean, look at this body. Do I need to I, lose? I have women the, throwing themselves at me. People say you, you might have a, 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 a soda addiction. Oh, I love soda. I love Diet Coke. It's so delicious. But it's, it's not so really delicious. healthy for you. Well, I, I, I know that. I know that. But I also love Kentucky Fried Chicken, cheeseburgers, mm. and the, uh, the taco bowl at yes. Trump Tower. So I, I do eat healthy, at least. One more last question. Sure. You know, you're a New Yorker. Yes, I love New York. Not and anymore. I it's know. Horrible. New York hates you now, though. I know. I how know, how do terrible. you feel about that? Well, I feel like it's gone downhill with the, the mayor, Eric Adams, who, by the way, has two sexual assault charges oh. against him. That's horrible. That's horrible. The guy is practically a, a masher, and he's the uh, mayor of the city. The city's a mess. It's an absolute mess. You got people like Alvin Bragg and all these terrible people. It's really going downhill. It's very, very sad. You know, at one point I had said, I want to build a wall around New York City and make New Jersey pay for it. But now I don't care. I don't care. They can tow it out the sea for all I care. I'm in Florida. It's absolutely fantastic. Have you ever seen those big bugs down there, the palmetto bugs? When they hit your windshield, you can't even drive. It's really <laughs> incredible. Well, thank you for your time. And, thank you, um, Perez. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you. Can we get a photo of this, of us shaking hands? We'll, get, we'll do it like this. I usually pull the people okay. in, but I won't do that. Won't all do right, that. all right, thank Perfect. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Can we get lunch? Can we get lunch? That'd be great. <laughs>